my child is not being developed. They're regressing. What do I do? Got a text message from from a friend who has an 11-year-old son who is playing for a team that's um, somewhat competitive. Uh, they're, they at least, they play a lot, they compete a lot, but it's all about winning and um, not about development, which is most places. So, uh, so the answer to that question is... Uh, First, you, you get first. You got to identify what are you trying to get, and and what I would say for an eleven year old. Uh, I have a twelve year old son. Um, the, the only thing that matter matters at this point is um, technique with the ball. I mean, it's crazy technique with the ball where they'll never lose the ball in a one v one situation, ever. Never lose a ball in one v one, and then occasionally lose a ball when you're triple team. But you have to be that good with the ball right now. So that should be the number one priority. Uh, it's not about going getting trophies, getting championships, getting medals. You know, it, that, that's not um, what matters. Playing on a team to win those things doesn't matter as much as developing technique with the ball. You must master that ball, which it takes years and years and years to master. So uh, that should be the number one thing. And, and when you master the ball, you have to be able to handle the ball. So if you're playing on a team that focuses go forward, 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 don't take a touch, don't fail, bang the ball up the field, um, it, you're not going to develop. You have to be allowed to make mistakes. If you're not, if you're not allowed to make mistakes, you're, you're going to regress. So if you're in a situation that you're competing on a high level, you win a lot of tournaments, but you're allowed to develop. So typically it's the goal scorer, the ones that are allowed to dribble, take on players, lose it over and over and over again because they score two or three goals every game. They're getting better because they're allowed to fail. It's everyone else that's not allowed to fail. Um, that, that's a problem. So um, you just got to have your mindset on uh, technique with the ball, especially since hardly anyone works on that. So being athletic and all that, I mean, you are what you are, but you can develop technique where you never lose the ball. Work on your first touch, how to get out of pressure situations so you can uh, contribute to the game. And once you master that ball, soccer is easy. One touch, two touch soccer is easy when you're not scared to have it. So make that the priority. It should be the number one priority. Uh, as far as picking a team, go, go to one of my earlier podcasts. I think it's like the seventh podcast I have. Um, when asked the question, what team should I join? And my answer is none. Don't join any team. Join many teams. But if you like identify yourself, oh, I play for this club and, and you can't be a borrowed player, then you're stuck because they have all these stupid rules about, oh, you play for that team, you belong to them. Uh, uh, poaching rules, how dare you play on multiple teams, you're going to be suspended kind of garbage. Do not be, I, I wouldn't put myself in that situation. I'd rather play on many teams and many levels. Play uh, uh, levels that are well beneath you so you can work on your technique and be the, the man on that team um, to uh, a moderate level that you know is giving you pressure and you, you have the uh, opportunity of a little bit of failure and play with the team that allow you to play and make mistakes and then play for a high level team that doesn't allow mistakes and you know experience it all but don't don't put yourself in one of those categories and that's all you're going to get. You have to develop. So you have to find what times to step away, work on your technique, and then uh, get back to it. But don't be stuck to one team. I, I'm advocated playing four or five different teams. Play 6v6, play 3v3, play 11v11. Find a 1v1 tournament if they exist, which I will start, by the way, because um, I need to develop my kids. So um, 2v2, if find that kind of competition. You need to be in those situations. So anyways, those are my thoughts on development, especially at that age. Peace out. The podcast you just heard was made using Anchor. Ever thought about making your own podcast? Anchor makes it really easy for anyone to get started. It's a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, and distributing podcasts. Best of all, it's 100% free. Sign up now at anchor.fm slash new. That's anchor.fm slash new to get started.